the weirdest thing this happened in school this kid was like liking me and i was like okay and who are you <laughs> hey guys what's up i'm sorry sharp no and i'm here with Rosalie Aratola. Yeah, go follow her on Instagram and all her other platforms will be on the screen somewhere. And yeah, we're gonna be filming another YouTube video on her channel today. And as you probably know from the thumbnail and title, we are going to be doing At this point in time, like curly heads and Mostly what I find attractive is when guys are really groomed, like they smell like cologne, they always have their hair cut, you know, just the way they present themselves, and if they have like good manners and they're fun. Yes, Miss Rosalie. <laughs> My answer to that question is going to be kindness and funny and laughs at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> he said all my stupid jokes. And you laughed. Mine? At the movie theater. <laughs> movie theater. Very interesting. <laughs> the only place where you can't talk to someone. <laughs> True. Okay, yeah, so I'm my about that <laughs> hand in hand popcorn thing. <laughs> okay, um, for my ideal date place, I guess I'm gonna have to probably go with. Ooh, this is a tough one. In and out. In and out. I a love fast in and out food. Not a fast food, okay? Despite the name being in and out, it is a rather long line. Do not be deceived. <laughs> Do and not you, be deceived. And I'd go inside, get a table. Okay, well, I'd say, first of all, me and most other guys are absolutely awful at picking up hints. So just say something straight to my face, otherwise <laughs> I will not notice. <laughs> I can guarantee you this. And then for me, probably be like, Yo. Just act like Damon Salvatore, like think everything is a joke, you know? Just make those- Damon, give me some hints. <laughs> act like Damon Salvatore from the Vampire Diaries. Oh, so he's not a real person. Nope. <laughs> I retract that statement, not real, not real. They mean and plays dumb, but it's actually smart and mean. Yeah, mean. You ugly, Rosalie. Am I doing it? <laughs> I would not be talking. Psst, she's lying. <laughs> um, when he's like, like really gross and <laughs> won't care like about what he's doing and honestly doesn't care how he presents himself. And yeah, his hygiene. He can't be smelling bad. Can't stink. <laughs> So for me, what makes me not like a girl is whenever they're super mean or rude or just like too, I guess to sum it up, being like too masculine. It's fine if you are, it just makes me feel unmasculine and no thank you. So like kind of like a guy who is like takes advantage of girls is not that, it's not attractive. And a guy who is like pushy about things is not cute either. That's not it. What would I say to get a girl's number? I'm not sure, can I test? Why not? Hey, can you put your like number in my phone? Um, sure, let me try. Beep, beep, boop, boop. How the freak do I work an iPhone? Nerd. <laughs> cool. Okay, thank you. Okay, but for me, I would just, generally the biggest tip I have for this is just be like, hey, can I get your number? And then, don't be expecting a no. But prepare yourself for a no, but don't expect it. Be expecting a yes, but be prepared for a no. So basically, like, if she says no, be like, all right, cool. But if she says yes, don't be like, okay. Be prepared for her to say yes. I don't know how to do that, but do it. Don't be afraid to be rejected, because it happens every day. 